there's gonna be crazy fans everywhere all yeah. the world. I mean, I know that Glasgow has one of the most electric, <laughs> loudest, you know, crowds, and and yeah. and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna excite me. I mean, it gives me energy. Nice. I, I love performing in, in front of the fans, and um, you know, I think at the end of it. I, you know, I am an enemy to Tory, but I think I'm going to earn a lot of people's respects, you know, by the end of Sunday night, and we're all going to go out and have a good time and drink some beers. All right, you've made quite an impact already in the UFC with your two submission wins, so are you surprised that you, like, co-main event in this quit? Um, am I surprised I'm co-main event in this event uh, after two back-to-back -back finishes, main card to main card? No, it's really cool. I mean, I didn't expect to do this if you had asked me three months ago if this would have happened, but... You know, having a co-main uh, event shot uh, or co-main event slot after two main card submission wins, I mean, it, it doesn't surprise me, but I'm ready, you know. When this fight was put forward to you, what was your initial thoughts? When it was given to me, I was just, uh, I was really excited. I mean, first of all, to be, go from an unranked fighter to number 14 in, in seven months of being a professional. And then now I'm going to be co-main against, against number eight in the world. And I'm not even a professional for a year yet. I mean, it's been an amazing ride. And, you know, I'm, I'm just taking it all in and enjoying the ride. And obviously it's going it, to, she's known for a stand up and you're known for your submissions. What, what we've seen so far. So. Do you think it's going to be like a striker versus grappler type fight, or have you got other tricks up your sleeve? Uh, I've got all kinds of tricks up my sleeve. You know, I'm a, I'm a complete mixed martial artist. Yes, you guys have seen a lot of my grappling, but that's just the way the, fight, the fights have been played out. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm strong everywhere, and everybody's going to find that out in the next couple of fights. And how have your preparations been at Team Alpha Male for this fight? I know. It, the preparation of Team Alpha has been amazing. I mean, you guys have seen what I can do in a two week notice fight, three weeks notice fight. Now you guys are going to see what I can do in 10 weeks. You know, so give me a fight, a full fight camp. I mean, you guys are in for a treat. A stand up been the focus for this fight or? Not everything. I'm a mixed martial, a mixed martial artist. This is an MMA. This is not, I'm just going to, you know, just because she's a striker, I'm going to learn how to strike. No, I, I know how to strike, you know, and maybe people, just because my grappling is so good and, the, and my stand up doesn't, you know, they think that it's not that great, but it's perfect for MMA. This is MMA, it's mixed martial arts. And she hasn't fought since September, so do you think that's going to, um, like, give you an advantage in this fight? Of course, I've, I've said it before, if you take long periods of BT time, it's almost like having, you, you, you forget the feeling, you get a little bit more nervous. Um, so for me, I, I like fighting consistently because you're just so used to it. I mean, it's another day in the office, but if you like fight once a year, it's, you know, it's a little bit more, a little bit more build up, a little bit more pressure. Um, but, you know, she's, she's experienced, she's a vet, she knows how to handle this. You know, I, I expect the best Joanne Collar, but I don't think it's going to affect her. And how do you see this fight unfolding? I'm going to get that finish, for sure. I'm going to get her out before the second round.